So in this session, as we learned a lot about uh, JavaScript filters in the previous sessions and how does they work, so let's take a break from Java and uh, come to some other concept. So today we are going to learn about Channel Writer. So we know about Channel Writer and how to generally use it. So I'm going to explain that in a very simple way. So channel to channel connection. So if we go to the, any particular uh, merge channel, like uh, we, there is a scope in our project like sending information from this particular channel to any other channel and we what we did is like uh, in the destination we are using TCP sender or database reader or file writer as we seen previously but in our scope uh, we need to send for example yep yeah, I created test and variables data from this channel to this channel so how to send it so there are a lot of uh, specific reasons which we are going to use it because uh, if we have something to do the changes in the destination filter and we are sending to some other particular location but we want to send the same data to another channel and even uh, make sure that channel makes all the changes inside it so what I'll do so I'll just try to clone this uh, destination so there's always a clone option for everything remember whether it's channel or filter anything there's always a clone option what I'll do uh, I clone the first one and I'll just uh, rename it. I'll rename it as okay, channel to channel connection. Channel to channel connections. Perfectly. What happens from the source uh, the data will come and it will send uh, go to the destination of this file writer and even it will go to the channel to channel connection. So you might be asking what it is and how to use it. I'll just go in the connector type and select is as channels writer uh, okay after clicking it I need to give the channel ID over here you might be asking how will I get the channel ID no need to worry you can go ahead and select uh, the channels over here so all the channels which you have in the screen over here will be reflecting so I'll be using my nine test channel and automatically the channel ID is reflected in the template I just uh, wanted the encoded data I dropped it that's it it's, it's very very simple I'll just save it and I deploy the channel so you can see uh, this is my source channel and this is my channel to channel connection the message will come from here and it will pass to destination and to this particular destination channel to channel connection from here it will go to the source of test 9 test which we have already attached it and it will reach the destination let's see how how things are going to work this destination is nothing but uh, these are the files uh, like I just show this destination is nothing but it will go into delivery files to any uh, directory as it is so I'll, I'll be explaining how this thing works now so let's go ahead and send a sample message I'll just copy this and I'll try to send a message you can see uh, I have sent a message and even uh, it is ADT I'll just change it to ORU okay I'll process this message I'll ref so you can see everything is zero over here so when I send it uh, we, we should get one 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 everywhere in the destination source I'll refresh it perfect so from the source we got the message and it, it came to this destination and it reads the destination this destination is nothing but uh, I'll save the file over here with the key 3 value again I'm coming back to this channel to channel connection this is going to send the message to this particular channel and yeah it is going to come over here F to understand like uh, that this message is only crossing over here I change the uh, message type as ORU and it is very different why I'm saying different because it is never ORU A04 it should be ADT A04 or ORU O01 okay so I just change it for our testing purpose so we got this message so I'm going to do send another message what I'll do I'll just remove everything from here to make sure this is the message we are getting I'll delete everything okay I'll delete everything okay I'll delete everything okay so this is only MSH line which we are going to send and let's see how we are going to send this I'll refresh it we got 2-2 two, two, means it has been received over here and I'll go back to 9 test channel in the source you can see yeah we got the single line message so this is how a uh, channel to channel connection works so whenever we have the scope of uh, doing multiple projects interacting with different channels we can make sure 
our channel runs through the message through all the specific channels so what i'll do is like generally uh if i want if i want to have a specific filter i'll just create the filter names with the names of the channels and i'll run that particular message to all the filters so in future if i got any new project i'll just loop that uh, message to this filters and it will pass through all the channels and we'll get the output so we don't need to create the same filters again and again you can see for variable section i created one channel over here for just transformer connection i'll i created one channel over here so it's all about a uh, fun uh, le learning math so but in real time uh, when you are working officially you shouldn't do this you should work in a different way for each and every project uh, depending on the requirement you are going to create the channel so now we uh, end the session on how the channel to channel connection works thank you